Hello YouTube programmers, welcome back in my tutorial. In this video, we are going to make an Ant-Man animation using Unity. So here, what's the meaning of the Ant-Man animation? Uh, as we know that in our superhero, Ant-Man will change his size according to his requirement. So here, in this video, we are going to make our character small when we triggered so how we can do this let's see okay guys so let's start to make our an ant-man animation using unity so here you can see i have a character which is a ybot character and you can see here when I press play, you can see here our character which is a boy bot. And when I press the forward key, it will go small. And when I triggered the animator, you can see our character will start moving. So Okay guys, so when you get your character, just drag and drop into the scene. After this, you have to create the animation clip for our Ypod character, which is the go small. So for this, you need an animation window. So here you can see I have the animation window and now so for animate our y bot for go small animation clip so click on the y bot and here just create and rename this the go small save and here you can see the co small one. I have the my animation clip. Now again choose your character. You will get the option the add property and this is the your clip which you created yet. So now I want that when we press the forward key then our character will go small. So for this here add your uh, choose your character and click over the add property first you have to click over here and go cl and click the add property choose this transform and okay so for making our character small we need to choose this scale option in the transform now click over the one timeline and click over the character and choose the scale tool which will be helpful for reducing the scale of our character now you have to press this red button you can see to record our animation clip now click on it so click here the center of our character and click and drag the left side you can see our character will go small and again press to stop our animation clip okay so here you can see when you press play our character will go small can see now right click and choose the animator controller after choosing this animator controller rename it the character controller and enter and choose the void port click on the add component and write here the animator then you will get this animator option when you click on it you will see this little window 
now choose the animator controller you can you can see this one and choose the your character and drag and drop into the controller here now double click on this you will get this window now you have to drag your animation which you created yet which will be the ideal animation clip which you have to download from the mixamo and the next one is the course small one which you created yet here you can see this one just drag and drop into the scene this is the ideal and this one is the go small which you created yet and make transition to it click on this arrow until this has exit time and again press then here you will be see our character will go small now just okay so after this you have to click on this plus sign and create a boolean parameter and uh, name it the go small go small remember guys when you name it then the capital and the small letter will give very effect when you choose this name into your script so it's time to create our new script this right click here and click on the create and choose this c sharp script and rename it double click on this then you will get your new c sharp script i have my c sharp script so and I am going to delete this but you do not have to do this so where is my C sharp script here I have my and here you can see I have already written my code so just see what this script does here you can see in the class we decide three variables first is the float speed is equal to 2.0 f and float rotation speed and the animator as the anim this means will allow to rotate our left and the right side so the what was the speed when our character will move in the left in the right side when we press the arrow key left or right so this is the speed is 2.0 f and the rotation speed will be the 50.0 f here our animator as the anim and in the void start here in the anim this animator means this animator window is stored what changes you will add in the animator window this will store in this anim variable okay so in the void update the float translation is the variable in which the this value will be stored input dot get access vertical and the multiply by the speed it will allow to work forward key this is the another variable which is the float rotation in which the horizontal axis horizontal axis the left and the right keys will be allowed to work in this translation when we store this value time dot delta time this is the completion time in the second since the last frame and this will so left and the right movement 
of the time and in the rotation this value will be stored and it will allow to get the time information from the unity and at last in the transform dot rotate this will show the this transform when you change the rotation your y bot in this so and this will show the x y and z axis and here you can see i have a little function in the if loop i give the translation is greater than 0 which means that when the translation value will be greater than 0 then our anim dot set will go small will be true means when this value will be bigger than this 0 then our character will be go small condition will be true otherwise it will be false so this is the our script does control and save and let me show you how it will gonna work just come back to the your ybot character here and just drag and drop your script into the your ybot idle then you will automatically edit your script to the your character here we did not define the condition for our character so click this plus one and you can see we have the condition go small will be true after that we have to again click on the go small and make the transition to the ideal okay guys so click on this after making transition between these two clips click on the first one and make sure that this box will be untick and add this condition and click the another arrow and again untick this box and here we do not need to add any condition because we didn't add another clip without these two clips so just go to the this play button and just play your animation here your boy bot and when you press the left arrow key it will go sorry when you press the right key it will go right when you press the left arrow key it will go it will go rotate in the left direction and when you press the forward key then it will go down here you can see and again just press the right arrow key it will rotate right and again it will go rotate the left so here you can see our animation is going our script is working our character is go rotate left and right and when you press the key this will go small so this is it guys i hope you will understand what i am trying to tell you this animation will gonna help you to in your project so thank you for watching see you in my next tutorial